I want to touch briefly with the time we have remaining today on what should be one of the most important things, and that is your fantasy football draft strategy. With this being said, i got to put a disclaimer. I have not won a championship in two or three years. Uh, <laughs> but my strategy, at least, I don't plan on going zero anything. I plan to go in with a very balanced strategy because if you go zero running back, let's say you take your running backs in the third and fourth round, that has a chance of working out. I'm not in love with the running backs in the third and fourth round. They're fine. But when you get past there, if you wait till the fifth or sixth round, there are no running backs. You're looking at guys like Antonio Gibson, uh, Brian Robinson. I just don't love that. So I think I like the best player available strategy, but you got to start by having a well-balanced first few rounds where you go running back, receiver, running back, or you take a tight end, you take Kelsey. Uh, I don't think you can really, unless you're getting Mahomes and Kelsey, I don't see taking both a tight end and a quarterback early because then I feel like you're going to be too weak at the wide receiver and running back position. So I really like taking either... I usually like a receiver in the first round, at least this year, because there's so many great receivers, and I don't know if I can really trust the top running backs. But if I make the exception for a running back in the first round, you've got to make sure to pick up a receiver in the second or third so you're not, like, falling in the fifth or sixth round, you're like, oh, I need a receiver, I need a running back, instead of just saying, I'll just take whoever's the best here. 